Melbourne is in trouble. Traffic congestion is choking the city. Footpaths are overcrowded. Trams and buses are constantly delayed. And autonomous vehicles are set to flood already jam-packed roads. With the city's population expected to explode from 4.5 million to over 8 million by 2051, something big needs to happen. And fast. That something is the Northeast Link a mind-blowing $26.1 billion megaproject that promises to completely reshape Melbourne's transport network and unlock the city's future. This isn't just another highway. It's Victoria's largest ever road project and one of the most ambitious tunneling feats in Australian history. At its heart are two massive 6.5-kilometer tunnels, reaching depths equivalent to a 15-story skyscraper beneath the Yarra River. Once completed, these tunnels will remove 15,000 trucks from local streets daily and slash travel times by up to 35 minutes. It all started in 1969 when Melbourne had a bold vision, build 510 kilometers of new freeways to future-proof the growing metropolis. The plan included iconic routes like the Metropolitan Ring Road and Eastern Freeway, but it also proposed three crucial north-south freeway links to connect everything. Those are the F6 along Derbin Creek, the F18 through Watsonia and Boleyn, and the F7 via Alphington. But just as Melbourne was gearing up to build its future, a change in government in 1972 brought many of those freeway plans to a screeching halt. The Eastern Freeway and Metropolitan Ring Road were built, but the critical north-south links? Shelved. For decades. Fast forward to 2007 when a major infrastructure report reignited interest in the idea of a Northeast Link. After years of traffic chaos and political debate, it was clear Melbourne could no longer function without it. By 2016, the city was overwhelmed. Roads were gridlocked, public transport was packed, and productivity was taking a hit. In 2017, the Victorian government finally committed to the project. The Northeast Link includes 6.5 kilometers twin tunnels, longer and deeper than anything Melbourne has seen. Starting at Watsonia and extending south to Boleyn, these tunnels will initially offer three lanes in each direction, later expanding to four between Boleyn and the Eastern Freeway. In some sections, the freeway will widen to over 20 lanes to handle future traffic volumes. How? Using two colossal tunnel boring machines, TBMs, built in China and designed in Germany. Each TBM is powered by a jaw-dropping 11,420 horsepower, roughly the strength of 47 standard cars, and moves forward at 12 to 15 meters per day while laying 44,000 custom concrete panels to form the tunnel walls. Starting from a 2.2 kilometers work site in Watsonia, the TBMs will tunnel under iconic sites, including the Simpson Army Barracks, 150 residential homes, and the Yarra River, reaching depths of up to 45 meters. To ensure safety, the tunnels are separated by 7 meters of rock, with emergency passages every 110 meters so drivers can escape from one tunnel to the other during emergencies. As the TBMs did, a 13-kilometer conveyor belt whisks the excavated material to a massive processing shed in Yalami. Trucks then move it out via the nearby ring road, keeping local traffic disruptions to a minimum. Each TBM operation runs 24-7, staffed by a rotating crew of 20 workers per shift. Behind the cutter head lies a 90-meter long mobile workspace, including engine rooms, brake areas, a control center, and even emergency hyperbaric chambers. Smaller tunnels, including a 430-meter stretch from Boleyn to the Eastern Freeway, are being excavated with road headers, machines that chip away the rock and then spray it with layers of concrete to form a secure arch. Once operational, the Northeast Link will carry over 100,000 vehicles per day and provide a critical connection between Melbourne's industrial hubs, from Dandenong and Campbellfield to the future freight terminal in Donnerbrook. It will also take pressure off overburdened roads like Fitzsimons Lane, Heidelberg Road, and Rosanna Road, and improve access to key destinations including Melbourne Airport and major regional centers, all while bypassing the clogged CBD. For Melbourne's booming northern suburbs, which will host over 1 million residents by 2026, 
the Northeast Link is nothing short of a lifeline. The future is tunneling forward. The Northeast Link is more than concrete and steel. It's a bold step into the future. It promises to cut travel times, boost economic productivity, and create thousands of jobs while laying the foundation for a smarter, more connected Melbourne. It's a story of forgotten plans revived, of tunnel boring giants crawling beneath the city, and of one of Australia's most complex engineering undertakings, rewriting the way Melbourne moves. So what do you think? Is the Northeast Link the missing puzzle piece in Melbourne's transport future? Or a costly bet on a car heavy city? Let us know in the comments below. And if you love deep dives into massive infrastructure projects around the world, subscribe to Visionary Mind. Hit that like button and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next mega project breakdown. Roughly the strength of 47 standard cars. It moves forward at 12 to 15 meters per day while laying 44,000 custom concrete panels to form the tunnel walls. Starting from a 2.2 kilometers work site in Watsonia, the TBMs will tunnel under iconic sites, including the Simpson Army Barracks, 150 residential homes, and the Yarra River, reaching depths of up to 45 meters. To ensure safety, the tunnels are separated by seven meters of rock, with emergency passages every 110 meters, so drivers can escape from one tunnel to the other during emergencies. As the TBMs dig, a 13-kilometer conveyor belt whisks the excavated material to a massive processing shed in Yalami. Trucks then move it out via the nearby ring road, keeping local traffic disruptions to a minimum. Each TBM operation runs 24-7, staffed by a rotating crew of 20 workers per shift. Behind the cutter head lies a 90-meter long mobile workspace, including engine rooms, brake areas, a control center, and even emergency hyperbaric chambers. Smaller tunnels, including a 430 meter stretch from Berlin to the Eastern Freeway, are being excavated with road headers. Machines that chip away the rock and then spray it with layers of concrete to form a secure arch. Once operational, the Northeast Link will carry over 100,000 vehicles per day and provide a critical connection between Melbourne's industrial hubs, from Dandenong and Campbellfield to the future freight terminal in Donnerbrook. It will also take pressure off overburdened roads like Fitzsimons Lane, Heidelberg Road, and Rosanna Road, and improve access to key destinations including Melbourne Airport and major regional centers, all while bypassing the clogged CBD. From Melbourne's booming northern suburbs, which will host over one million residents by 2026, the Northeast Link is nothing short of a lifeline. The future is tunneling forward. The Northeast Link is more than concrete and steel. It's a bold step into the future. It promises to cut travel times, boost economic productivity, and create thousands of jobs while laying the foundation for a smarter, more connected Melbourne. It's a story of forgotten plans revived, of tunnel boring giants crawling beneath the city, and of one of Australia's most complex engineering undertakings, rewriting the way Melbourne moves. So what do you think? Is the Northeast Link the missing puzzle piece in Melbourne's transport future? Or a costly bet on a car-heavy city? Let us know in the comments below. And if you love deep dives into massive infrastructure projects around the world, subscribe to Visionary Mind. Hit that like button and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next mega project breakdown.